Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I am showing a small section like uh, how to create a score box in in Revit and how to create a sheet in Revit. So this is the cable tray layout and how we can create a dependent for the all the levels. So that is what I am trying to show. Uh, for example, uh, I have some cable tray layouts over here. So if you click like this, if you tab it, this one, or otherwise you can go here and you can look the 3D view of cable tray, how it's look. And uh, you can see here uh, the cable tray looking like that. So what I am planning to do, I need to give a tag for this one, right? So how we can give the tag so you can um, tag it like this. Okay, so you can tag it like that. And so if you need to make this is like attached end right so if you are making like a free end so just uh, tag it this one so you can um, uh, be before that would you if you're giving a tag just uh, attach and change to free end so they can you can control your tag like this so wherever you require so you can control the tag like that and for example in this area you need a tag so you can make the tag like that so automatically that will adjust it like this and uh, for example here you need to give a tag so like that you can make it so how we will be get this one so i will show you you can go to here and edit family and i will I'll show you one more time how to create a, this one so i'm just deleting these things i'm just deleting these things and here is the size of the cable tray so if you are going to the label so you can get the size of the cable tray from here and uh, if you want to do it another uh, one another tab label for this one just copy this one i'm just copying this one and i'm placing over here another label and i'm selecting this one and go to le edit label and just and um, just remove that one and we can give some bottom elevations over here before that uh, i think uh, we can give some service type first just give a service type so cable tray service type will come over here and then you just need to copy again and just uh, put it over here and in this label we can give a uh, just remove this one and just give a bottom elevations do it like this just move it to the center of this one and then edit again and you can give some prefix like a bot bottom of tray equal to sorry equal to then here you can give a, a FF, ffl after finished floor level click ok then load in uh, then you can arrange something like um, the squares and everything so you go to here line take a rectangle from here and i'm just uh, taking a rectangle like this and then some lines i am just creating from here you can adjust at this one like little bit in the center so just copy this one and copy to here so that part is completed then you just need to load into the project automatically this will be overwrite so you can see the changes and everything so like that we can make the uh, tags and the uh, tag um, editing tags so you can put the tags over here so automatically the whichever uh, service type you given here so that will show up over here for example i just need to give a um, service type 2 so automatically here it will be show like that and as per that the color will be changed so i'm just undoing that one and then here this is also you can give the tag cable tag, tag like this so wherever you required so you can easily give the tags simply you can give the tag like that so this is a simple method to giving the tag for cable tray so then i need to make some score boxes for example if you go to the view then you will be get a score boxes from here and then uh, what we can do we can just uh, make the score boxes for this area like this okay I, I need to make it two sheets okay for example i just need to make like one sheet over here so for that i just need to move this one like that and I just need to say this one um, part one okay then then need to create another one another scope box <coughs> scope box from here 
and select like this and just uh, make this one as a part two so if you want to stretch it this one up to here so you can do it that one also make it like this so two part is created and if you are if you can stretch a little bit over here so you can do that that one this similar kind of way and then uh, just uh, put it over here so that like that we can make the um, uh, score boxes so this one i can say like this is part two right so i just need to create a dependent for this one so i need to create a two parts so before that we just need to go here um, and just uh, go to here and duplicate with the detailing uh, sorry uh, just uh, click on right click and uh, duplicate with the dependent so what will happen one dependent will come right so in in this we can get a one dependent so this is like we can call it as a like part one part uh, one and another one i can say like um, um, same thing like uh, duplicate with the dependent so that i can rename as it a part two part two so two part is created so it was one is similar uh, this one so we the, this one we can just uh, on the scroll scope uh, this annotation crop view and everything so just need to stretch up to here so this is this much part only we required so we just need to stretch it up to here and this one also you can make it up to here no issue this is also you can make it up to here and just stretch it up to here so that much part only we are using okay so stretch it up to there and he's just set up that one and then um we can we can say this one as we we just want to remove the tags from the here or otherwise you can keep it as it is no worry if you want to stretch up to here so you can stretch the all the things up to here so this one also you can make it up to here no worry otherwise you once you've done that one you can just uh, uncheck that uncheck this too so what will happen so it will come to that much part only okay so next is like uh, you can just uh, stretch move it up to here and you can stretch like this okay then uh, what you can do uh, we this is the part two one okay part two one you just need to uh, put the scope box name part two one so it will come part two one right you just need to if you need another tag for this one so you can give the tags tags here so you just give a tag so you can adjust these things and same things you can give the tags for this one so automatically that will adjust and you can stretch this one little bit over here and here 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 you need to uh, just some tags so you can give the tag for this is also just put like this and stretch up to here and then you can give the tag like that so that is the one thing and uh, here also i can give some tags okay for uh, identification so just give the tag and the next part is part two so just go here and just change the scope box name like a part two so automatically that will adjust so if you are missed any tags for any anything so you can give the tag for the all the area like this and once you set this one um, you can do one thing I am not going to another area so I just need to create one sheets for this one right so we'll go here I will just go here in the sheet section i'm just taking new sheets sheet i have a metric over here so this sheet i can use this sheet and here you can see all uh, the names and everything so i'm just uh, renaming that one so i can say like uh, this is cable tray right electrical ct01 and uh, just giving like a name level level dash zero one sorry level that zero one cable tray layout cable tray layout so just uh, make this one small letter cable tray layout so automatically that will come so you can see here the cable tray letter is come and you can give some um, um, <coughs> project owner names and everything and project names also so for example 002 the project name so you can give that one like p002 p can we give the 
capital and here you can give whichever owner you have so you can give the owner names and project numbers uh, we can say like uh, whichever number for the project name you can give and uh, you can give the date also whichever date you use it and here you can give a drawn by then uh, checker who is the checker so you can give that one so that is the one method and you can stretch it from uh, this one uh, from here just drag and drop over here so automatically what will happen this uh, the sheet will be ready over here right so you can, if you if you double click on this one and you can go to the template and you can uh, go to the annotate and uh, you can switch off the scope boxes from here uh, just apply okay so you can get a little bit clean of this one so just need to stretch up to here so you can get the um, tag and everything so the scales also you will be get and you can edit this one like this one also you can um, this is the viewport name viewport so you go to the family and uh, just uh, go to the annotation symbols and uh, where we can go view title just go to edit from here view names just stretch it this one a little bit you can stretch it this one okay just to stretch it a little bit and load into the project all right yes see now it was all right adjusted as per that um then then what do you need to do we just need to go to again uh, our cable tray uh, this is like overall plan right so you just need to make another uh, part plan so go to here in the new sheet and uh, go here and just you can rename this one uh, level one level zero one cable tray part uh, one okay then just click that one so that will uh, come up over here so you can just uh, stretch the uh, drag the viewports over here so automatically that will come up over here right so you can see here uh, that part is come so if, if you need to another sheet go to here and create new and you can drag the next part over here part two and then you can um, just to give the uh, name uh, electrical so we, I can copy from here okay free name copied that one okay so just to give the name over here so automatically that will adjust it over here cable tray layout part 2 so just uh, can say like uh, we can just remove this one and uh, we can give part 2 like this you can adjust their things so okay, this text as you can adjust it okay so if how, how it's possible you go to here and you can change the text items from here for example I'm just using a five okay so just to go to here and all right yes so automatically what will happen it will be adjusted as per that so this is the one of the method like you're making a dependent on the scope boxes okay so wait for a, another video if you like this video so i will continue with another video thanks for thanks for watching and if you like my video please subscribe my channel thanks for watching thank you